Nocturnal Android. Thank you very much for the resub and his messages. Oh, there are messages now? <laughs> Simulate, tributary, humiliate, open borders. You know, being xenophiles, if there's anyone who would probably be happy living on a planet owned by me, it might be them. Also, here's an interesting question. What kind of terrain do they inhabit? Tundra. Which is quite different from Arid. There's actually Tundra worlds over here we could plant them on. GBW says, Vassalize an empire unless it's directly in the way of your expansion. Vassalize or tributary, I suppose. They are directly in the way of my expansion. I think we have to just take their stuff. I think we just have to take them. And in case that doesn't work, I'm going to add these extra war goals. So we might just negotiate for the seeding of planets, but we have the option of negotiating just for humiliate or open borders after the fact. Can have them abandon planets as well. That's interesting. Invite attackers? Oh, right. But no. Alright, we're gonna go with this. First fleet, you're on aggressive mode. Excellent. Move into Alkalide. Excellent. Uh, we will make some ground armies. Apparently one. But we can build them pretty quick. And uh, these guys, I believe, that the Quill were Wormhole, right? So they can, they can bounce around. But they'll probably be tempted to defend their planets. What is this? Probably, is it a science ship? I don't know. Oh, that's their wormhole generator! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! I mean, they probably have one, you know, in their actual home system as well. But the more we can do, the better. Oh, hold on. We should be able to catch these guys and outnumber them handily. Alright, you don't need to go to the, the edge. That's the difference of hyperspace. Hyperspace is fast, but limited. So they can bounce back and forth directly, but looks like they're going to be... Are they bombarding my planet? Yeah. And they have to get to the edge of space to be able to get out, so I think we're probably okay. Do I have any mods? No. Or... Yeah, I can, but I need to save some money. I think we're going to be fine. Yes, yeah, so we should be able to jump on these guys before they can warp out. I mean, they can still emergency warp out, which will be a bit annoying. System survey complete. Construction complete. And they're moving in to engage, which is a bit surprising. Construction complete. All right, what you got? What are you packing? Oh, uh, that's me. Oh, right, I can't snoop on them anymore. I, I'd have to do it. It's kind of weird. I have to do it while they're outside of combat. Once they're in combat, I can't get information about their ships. So they've got armor. Doesn't look like they have any shields. They're using lasers. And we are obliterating them. We haven't lost a single ship yet. I mean, we probably will. Although, maybe not. And it's... Oh, there's their emergency FTL. And we did not lose a ship. So, we're going to go repair, certainly. And then we'll go and hop back in there. Very good. Alsora Prime, I do need a, a base over there at some point, but... I think I'm going to keep spending my minerals on assault armies. I'm going to go for the health and reduced upkeep. They're very expensive to maintain. Science ship. You are done, so do that. Construction ship. Uh, do I want to get you started on this, or do I want to save my minerals for other things? I think I'm going to save my minerals for now, so construction ship, just sit idle. Is it still doing the bug? It's still doing the bug where systems randomly turn, like, their label red for no reason. 
I gotta make sure they don't destroy my frontier outpost, but I think we're gonna be okay. I suppose I could have split off damaged ones, but most... Th there was a lot of damaged ships. So I don't think it would have left me with a particularly competent military. If you build a spaceport, your fleet max goes up. Yes, I realize that. I am aware of that mechanic. Don't worry about it. But right now, that, that is a fine max right now. I mean, the cost is just a lot. And I'm happy with this. I may need a higher max to actually take their homeworld, but there's no starbase here. Because if I have to fight their spaceport plus their navy, that's a little too strong. But this system has no spaceport, therefore I can just smash them. Okay, that is just about done. And excellent, and go back there. I expect them to fully come back to Alsora, uh, maybe, once I go back here, but... We'll see, and we can split things off. Mongolia, so we've got three armies. They probably don't have a lot. Of ground troops. And we can bombard them really aggressively. You know what? It's fine. I'm just going to put on another health attachment here. And embark all. And I'm going to tell my transport fleet, just move to short speed for now. And go there. Excellent. Now we have lots of money, which is good, because those assault teams are expensive. Don't forget research debris. Yeah. I mean, I don't think our timer is about to expire anywhere. No, we're good right now. But yeah, I'll try not, I'll try not to forget. And we still have our Admiral. He's level 2 now, which is nice. Reduce ship upkeep. More fire rate. back in here. Okay, well now that we're... Again, that label turned red. I don't know why it does that. I'm surprised that didn't get fixed. And you've got two planets in this system. Oh my! Which one's the bigger? Okay, you come here. 18. 25! Research complete. Well, obviously, we're going to move into orbit of that, and that's the one we're going to bombard as well. Destroyer tech! Nice. Um, plasma thrusters, very good. And we're going to grab that. And no one's working on anything that they're appropriate for. Oh, I can probably go and remove these research grants here. Although it still is a net boost to science. Alright, so we should build up that station really quickly. These stations tend to have a lot of hit points, so they don't go down that quickly, but I don't expect them to be able to respond to anything I'm doing over here. Resources going up. Again, I would really like to upgrade Alsora, so I might wait for that primarily. And yeah, when's the science ship going to be done? Can't possibly have much left in this system. No, it's nearly done. And then yeah, this debris will be interesting, because it could really teach us something new. Shield, something like that. I don't know. What's that? Omega Infinita! Hey, thank you very much! Quill, happy belated Canada Day. It's been forever since I've made your stream. Achievement unlocked. Graduated high school. Hey, congrats. Uh, going to be visiting Cape Breton at the end of July. Have an amazing day. Oh, that's really cool. A lot of Canada I haven't seen yet. I really should. And I would very much like to. All right, good. Got the bombard going on over here. So, um... We're not, yeah, not light. We're going to go to limited, at least. Uh, full ground support we might want to avoid right now if we're taking the planet, because it does create blockers. So that's unpleasant. They do actually have a pretty surprising amount of stuff on the ground, so... Let's get some more stuff. Great Griff says, just keep flying. Thank you very much, Great Griff. Do you have the Spider Race DLC? I think so. I think I do. I think I've got everything. System survey complete. All right, science ship. You are gonna. Oh, they're back over here. Oh, that's a construction ship. Interesting. Okay. Okay. 
more assault armies. Now, of course, we can with our bombardment, we can do you know a fair amount of damage to the ground stuff too. So I think we can with this. Defending armies will not regenerate health. Pops are locked out employment. Pop growth is halted. The physics lab done. We do want deflectors at some point. That would be handy. That's also nice, especially since we do have the void craft. We do get more chance to hit. But I'm going to the deflectors. They're pretty cheap. And we will want to start that up. Although... No, these guys didn't have any shields. So I was going to say, maybe I can get it from the debris, but no. Da, da, da. So you still have about half your defenses left. And yeah, we'll have to wait for more assault troops to finish up. But we do get some war score while things are being blockaded, so that's okay. I don't know. Are you building, like, a warp station here? A wormhole station? You might be. Yeah, building a wormhole station in my territory. That's cool, actually. I appreciate that. Good move, AI. Um, I have a little bit more supply limit, so I'm going to build another Corvette. Actually, not here. Oh, I have to build it there. Never mind. Right here, and we'll send a tell sword to clear that out. Since that has no defensive capabilities whatsoever. Dun, dun, dun. Just wait for a little bit more. We'll embark them together. Debris analyzed. Same thing here. And merge up. And that'll be that should be sufficient. Construction complete. Red lasers and some physics research. That's eh, something. And now we can go and research projects in system. Was that always there as a button? That's that's very handy. Still want to do the upgrade in Alsora. Yeah, we have to take a long way around to get here, but at least, again, you know, hyperspace lanes are pretty quick. Second fleet done. Go be aggressive mode. Go to Alsora. Clear that garbage out. They have a wormhole station there now. I mean, they could always reach there. Um, so it actually doesn't make much of a difference unless they wanted to go from here to the other systems. There we go. We jumped on them right away. We have, like, no hit points, which is why this bar is here. But they have no guns. So, <laughs> we're going to win that. Unemployment? Oh, yes, indeed. I'm going to want to build uh, that energy station there at some point. So, what I should just do is clear these blockers out. And then just move it over there. That's going to be okay. There we go. Slowly coming in here. And then we'll get a nice invasion force. So we'll have seven units versus there. Six plus probably some militia. Uh, but they do have minus 15 army damage. I think they probably have a weak trait. So I think we're going to be okay. I don't know. We'll find out in a second. The AI is learning. Destroy it. And attack. And I didn't put any uh, general on my attack. And I probably should have. Luckily, the militia is pretty weak, so I have the bonus to army health. They don't have that, and they've got the minus 15% army damage. And these are defense armies, which are not as strong as assault armies as well, so it looks like we're going to be okay. One army might get lost, but probably not. Mm-hmm. Enemy planet secured. Yay! Successful invasion. So we're going to let them rest for a tick. While the bombardments start on Ira Obos. Oh, Obas. So just out of curiosity here. Right, I can't actually make the demands of anything I haven't um, occupied. Unless I break them so much that they just unconditionally surrender. Which isn't likely to happen yet. Alright, so they're nearly full. I think they, they do, like, heal up in space. But. Hello. Oh, I don't actually have you selected. Just enter orbit. I don't think... Yeah, there's not as many fortifications. The other planet had 1,400. Oh, they do have an actual assault army there. You clear that. Good. You move there. And... Alsora 
get your... Oh, had I already done the planetary administration? I had. Oh, it was Gaia here. There we go. You get that. Excellent. And then over here, we are going to build some science labs. Excellent. Fleet engaged. Oh, not really. Although there is some debris there. We might be able to get something out of it. Halted our bombardment, but that's okay. Special project complete. Ooh, special project completed. And we got an Erasian artifact and 109 um, engineering research. Well, that's lovely. So that was from checking out that uh, that space station. So everything here has been fully explored. That's got the weird glitch, but yes, fully explored. Uh, so we need to go over here. Oh, and there's... Um, was there more debris over here? No, there's more debris over there. But there is some over here. So start with that. That's from the amoeba or whatever, which isn't going to be that valuable, but it's going to be fine. Doo -doo -doo. Second fleet. Yeah, I'm going to leave it parked in Elsora for now, just in case anyone else comes over to try to build a, um, a little lab. And you are being bombardified once again on limited ground support. Okay. Can ask for plans you haven't occupied in 1.2. Oh, okay. So we just need more war score. We need to break them. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if we can take Mardum or not. I do want to get another spaceport to increase our limit and then start building some destroyers. Which, if I'm going to do that, will also require that I upgrade the spaceport, which isn't cheap. But I'm going to wait on that. A second spaceport is my priority to increase my limit and give me somewhere else I can build stuff would be quite nice. I guess, um, you know what? You go ahead and join the other fleet. You can help out in some bombards. And if uh, if we can get that space station undefended, that'll be quite handy. And it looks like you're almost out of hit points. We'll get the last of the fortifications down. And you know what? Let's go ahead and assign a general. Hmm... Morale and damage. That sounds pretty good. And you just have the experience gain. No, no. We'll go ahead and grab General Jerodefer. Attack. So you need, only need one general, presumably? I don't know. Invasion. So they have some more ground forces. But again, they're generally... They're statted out weaker. Yeah, they're definitely weaker, and we do have the Admiral now. Boom. Boom. Excellent. They also fight a lot weaker if we do break the morale. Hostile fleet engaged. So we're going to finish this off, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to put on a passive vote and check out the other system, and then evaluate things. Cause, do, I, do I have sensor readings? No, they're just outside. Ooh, Situation Free Admiral. Okay. Updated. And debris has been scanned. Nice. And now you can go and actually survey the system. Please and thank you. We'll get the... Oh, we have a lot of resources. Because you're doing that, which is good. You... I would get you to upgrade your mining. You are migrating somewhere to Mongolia. It's not really the order I want to do things in, but whatever. Oh, and upgrading the food would also be quite handy. And yeah, so there's still nothing to be done with this spot quite yet. Alright, so you're out of the battle. So yeah, I'm going to put you on passive and just move you over here. And you, I'm going to finish you resting before I launch you again. Again, I think they will heal in space, but... Research complete. How are we looking? Oh, we can definitely take this. Where's their fleet? Oh, there's their fleet. Are they warping in or warping out? I would love to catch them before they warp out. Okay, they did warp out, so I'm going to take this opportunity to go and attack this base. Most likely they're going to come back pretty quick. Apparently I'm going to stop to fight a construction ship along the way, which I guess is fine. Plus 20% border range! Hooray! I think we eliminate more tile blockers. Especially since that is the right kind of tech and everything. Good, 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 good. 
Now, I don't want their other fleet to show up while I'm fighting here. That would be quite sucky. Because I will probably lose some dudes fighting the spaceport. The spaceport has a lot of hit points. There, there goes one Corvette. Oh, deflectors. Colony development speed. I think we can live without that. Power hub. I really want a power hub for my capital. Two ships down. Three ships down. But done. And we still have enough to take the rest of their stuff. So that's great. Embark these guys and tell them to move out over here. Most likely my ships are going to go around popping a couple things. Oh, but there we go. Boom! Victory against them. Constant terrorist forces to concede. May our enterprises never be plagued by a conflict like this again. This is the best possible outcome. They will accept all of our demands. Well, the last two are pretty meaningless if I've just taken all their planets. Oh no, they had another planet! Okay, so it is actually still quite meaningful. Because we took two planets here, one planet here. We've still humiliated them, and we have open borders with them now. I like it. Do we want to build a second science ship? I don't know. Fleet, go and repair. Um, are we over? Yeah, control five colonized systems, not planets. That is really nice. That is extremely nice. Especially over here. So we've got, again... A size 18 and a size 25 planet. That is really, really good. I mean, they're going to be miserable right now because they were recently conquered. They don't like any of my policies whatsoever. Union of Planetary Administration. So, I don't have five pops here? Oh no, okay, they're they're still grayed out and they're critters. What about over here? Nope, only three. Okay, so that's a little bit annoying. Um What's the difference here? Allow the enslavement of species other than their own within our empire. A lot of the enslaved species other than our own within our empire are under relatively fair working conditions. Ah, I see. So here they produce less minerals and food, but here they're probably going to get crankier. So, what do we want for that? And yeah, there's still pop growing, which is good. And over here I haven't even looked. Lots of population. So here... Because, um... This is Tundra, so it's 60% habitability for us. So that's not too bad. So we can move some of our people here to babysit these guys. And then do a bunch of enslaving. If we have that button. They're only Xeno scum. Basic rights should be a foreign concept to them. Alright. It's going to be more exciting. Xenos only. Hopefully our own people aren't upset by that. But I don't think they will be. So I can now enslave you. I don't know if we're going to enslave them all. Because we might not... I don't know. If we enslave them all here and leave our troops here... Although apparently right now they like they rebel with like a strength three to one, which is pretty ridiculous. There's only so many tiles that are actually going to be improved by having enslaved pop working them. Because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't think the, the happiness is kicked in. 
I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, enslaved can't really work those tiles very well at all. All right, we'll just come back to you in a little while. See how it goes. So this is only the one planet that we've done it. I, I, I want to wait until the others have grown big enough so that I can send someone there. Uh, the Quill Repatriarch, the Malcontent Slaves. Attraction's quite high. Make an example. Must be at least four pops. Well, what you can do? Oh, they're both minus 20% support. Anomaly. And this is mostly just a lot of money. Well, we'll have it wait. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, let's research the anomaly. That's going to be great. Construction ship. You can go and construct everything over here, actually. That would be really, really good. Whip them harder. <laughs> uh, Zero Attack, thank you very much for the resub. 13 months in a row. And now I can complete the extinction quest. Yeah, so I think it's time for us to build another science ship and another construction ship. We've also... It's 14. We might colonize the 14 size planet. But yeah, we're definitely going to send some more stuff out. So, the other thing is... Ooh, silicon-based life forms. Plus three production. Nice. The other thing is, if I build a colony ship from one of these places, I should build some star bases. Keep out of our way. We'll make you. Uh, and you're not my direct way, so declare rivalry. Did I ever rival... Yeah, these guys. Of course I did. Um, if I make a colony ship now and land them over here, will they be cranky sauce? So, let's get started. Build the spaceport. And we'll see. Is there a percent chance to fail? Quill's gonna fail anyway. That seems to be the way it is. Oh! Uh, Luke Shaker, thank you very much again! Um... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Luke says, yeah, it, it's been a weird year. Donald Trump is a Republican frontrunner, Britain left the EU, and Quill just beat himself into submission with a Hydra. That's right, we did just beat up the Quill sovereignty. These things happen. All right, science ship. We need to recruit a new scientist, and it would be nice if we got a scientist with a different type of science. Like that, so that we can mix up our research, which would be quite nice. You come over here. Survey that system. Really? We can go through there? Interesting. And are we researching computer tech? No, not at this time. Construction complete. They both attack revolters, yeah. So the troops I have sitting on here. Oh, they're not here. Oh, they're in space, right, because I never did land them. Or whatever. So we're gonna do that. I should probably build up, like, max rank defensive army as well. They're a lot cheaper to maintain. Can't use them offensively. System but for now, that's going to be good enough. System survey complete. complete. Good. So you're going to go there. We're going to send you way out here. Another construction ship. Uh, build that, actually. Science ship. Could you do the debris first before you go too far away thanks there we go so our naval capacity is going up we do have the destroyer tech right i think so so in mongolia we'll try to go up the next level of uh, or level three ancient mining drones we can go and blow those up <laughs> 